Amber Heard will appeal the verdict in her libel trial against Johnny Depp after the jury ruled against her. A spokesperson for the Aquaman actress confirmed her decision just hours after a court heart that Amber would have to pay her ex. Husband $15 million in damages after she lost the case. Amber's representative has Aleph Hall told the New York Times that Amber planned to appeal the decision after the actress said she was heartbroken by the result. Johnny, 58, brought the case to court after accusing Amber, 36, of defaming him in a 2018 op-ed she penned for the Washington Post entitled, I Spoke Up Against Sexual Violence, and Faced Our Culture's Wrath. That has to change. The article does not mention Johnny by name, yet his lawyers said it falsely implied he physically and sexually abused Ms. Heard while they were together. Johnny was awarded compensatory damages of £10 million, £8 million, and a further £5 million, £4 million, in punitive damages. Experts say that to appeal the jury's verdict, Amber would have to post a bond for the full $10 million judgment, plus interest. The actress would have to demonstrate there were errors in the trial or in the jury's reading of the law to be successful. While Amber is set to be planning the next round of their legal battle, Johnny was seen relaxing in a pub in Newcastle with singer Sam Fender. In a statement after the verdict, Johnny said he feels at peace and was truly humbled after jurors returned verdicts in his favor on Wednesday after six weeks of evidence and roughly 13 hours of deliberation. The Pirates of the Caribbean star was seen fist bumping and fans and drinking pints musicians Sam Fender and Jeff Beck at the Bridge Tavern in Gateshead while Amber was in court. In his statement, issued through his spokesperson, the actor said his decision to pursue the case was only made after considerable thought and his goal had been to reveal the truth, regardless of the outcome. Six years ago, my life, the life of my children, the lives of those closest to me, and also, the lives of the people who for many, many years have supported and believed in me were forever changed, he said. All in the blink of an eye. False, very serious and criminal allegations were levied at me via the media, which triggered an endless barrage of hateful content, although no charges were ever brought against me. It had already traveled around the world twice within a nanosecond and it had a seismic impact on my life and my career. And six years later, the jury gave me my life back. I am truly humbled. Johnny continued, speaking the truth was something that I owed to my children and to all those who have remained steadfast in their support of me. I feel at peace knowing I have finally accomplished that. He said he had been overwhelmed by the outpouring of love and the colossal support and kindness from around the world, adding, I hope that my quest to have the truth be told will have helped others, men or women, who have found themselves in my situation, and that those supporting them never give up. Concluding the statement, he added, the best is yet to come and a new chapter has finally begun. Veritas numquam verit. Truth never perishes. Johnny has joined Jeff Beck on his UK tour, appearing on stage to sing with him at various venues across the UK, including at the Royal Albert Hall on Monday and Tuesday. The two are rumored to be performing together again in Gateshead on Thursday night. Speaking outside the court in Virginia, the actors' lawyers Benjamin Chu and Camille Vasquez said they were truly honored to have represented him and were so grateful to the jurors, and other members of court staff. It is time to turn the page and look to the future, Mr. Chu said. Though Johnny was not present for the verdicts, Ms. Heard attended the court in person. 
sitting between members of her legal team at the front of the courtroom, the actress looked downcast as the ruling was read out by the judge. She had her head bowed and appeared to be listening intently to the verdict. In a separate verdict, Miss Heard was awarded $2 million, one pound. Six million, in damages after her counterclaim against Mr. Depp over comments made by his lawyer Adam Waldman, who allegedly referred to her abuse claims as a hoax, was found to be defamatory. Following the verdict, the actress said she was heartbroken but even even more disappointed with what this verdict means for other women. The disappointment I feel today is beyond words, she said in her own statement, which was shared on social media. I'm heartbroken that the mountain of evidence still was not enough to stand up to the disproportionate power, influence, and sway of my ex-husband. I'm even more disappointed with what this verdict means for other women. Miss Heard said the verdict sets back the clock to a time when a woman who spoke up and spoke out could be publicly shamed and humiliated. She added that Mr. Depp's attorneys had succeeded in getting jury members to overlook freedom of speech. I'm sad I lost this case. But I am sadder still that I seem to have lost a right I thought I had as an American, to speak freely and openly, she said. The case was brought in Virginia rather than in California, where the actors live, because the Washington Post's online editions are published through servers located in Fairfax County. Witnesses have included family members, friends, colleagues, employees and other individuals including British supermodel Kate Moss, as well as both Mr. Depp and Ms. Heard. During the course of the trial at Fairfax County District Court, legions of fans gathered outside in an attempt to enter the courtroom and observe proceedings. Many lined up outside the courthouse in anticipation of the verdict and gave huge cheers as the verdicts were read out, 